Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So I just finished up a workout. I have clients coming back. I have new clients joining each day, which is awesome. Yesterday, I went to a local Trader Joe's and walked um, some clients around and showed them some food that are my go-tos and why and how to read labels and um, ingredients. And so um, lots of things are happening. But on Wednesdays, I like to focus about working out. And um, one, tomorrow and every Thursday this month at 6 p.m., I'm going to have smoothies and stretching at my gym space deck. Um, And what's going to be cool is we're going to experiment with different smoothies each week and then have time to do some type of workout or stretching or combination, just so everybody understands what I do, you know, Um, because people ask me very often, um, well, how much, you know, weight do you um, press and what do you do and, you know, how much cardio do you do? And really uh, for myself, there's certain things I just haven't done because of my lower back and my neck and shoulder. I mean, most of this year, we're in the end of June, most of this year I've been, was, was, I had, thank goodness, um, a neck and shoulder problem that I needed steroid shots for. I changed my, my way of eating even a little bit more. Um, I just fine-tuned some things, went to traction, and tried to stay with things consistently. And now I'm at a place where I can kind of get back and and get my strength back. And the way that I do that is for myself, I I can't go back to running. I can't go, you know, kickboxing or doing things. I need to do things with a low impact. And what I found is using simple resistant bands, balls, just kind of having to keep your balance quietly, um, you use your muscles in a whole different way. Hey, where'd I put it? Right? You know, so it's, I can strengthen my shoulder. I can leave my neck alone. I can do these things. I can stay, you know, balanced and, and really just kind of build because I am doing low impact. So here's the thing though, is that the, the workout is just like 20%, I think, of the whole package. Because if you heard me correctly, I said I changed a lot of things and now I can kind of get back to it. So I ate better. I, I, took a, I did a blood test that found the foods that caused knee inflammation and I stay away from that. Um, for the last few months, that seems to be helping. I always talk about intermittent fasting. Um, I teach my clients and tell my friends and people, you know, do 16, 8, 18, 6, meaning hours. But then I read more and more about 24-hour fasts and how that helps with chronic pain. So I added that through the last few weeks. And again, I, for whatever reason, and I'm super thankful. Um, all these things have been getting me that 1% better so that I can work out back to, not full, but getting back to uh, being able to work out without pain, right? Um, so I wanted to pop on and kind of tell you a little bit about what's been going on. Um, I am likely to press the live button tonight when I do my seven o'clock class. That way everybody can see what I'm doing and maybe join in if you have simple gym equipment or contact me either way. Um, And then next Wednesday, I'm definitely going to to pop on the live um, video for a workout in the morning is my plan. Um, So And I want to remind you, if you're around and you're local and you want to kind of try a new smoothie and hang out with some people and talk about fasting and eating cleaner and how we can do it all together, um, come by tomorrow or message me and um, and I will uh, get together. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.